Hi guys, Blue Fan 2. Right, um, as you can tell by the video, um, by the title of the video, I was sent some of all this lot. And, um, I've been carrying them for a while. I did put some post, a post on this on the Facebook and the Instagram group pages. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And, um, I've been carrying these in my, as you know, in my EVC Woods pouch. And, wow. It's life changing. Yeah, like I'll tell you what they are as well. Now, quickly, they are stingray pads, triple antibiotic, oral pain relief. I can't even say that one, so I'm not even gonna attempt to say that if it focuses. I'll leave that one what it says at the bottom. I can't. Even, I'm not even gonna try and attempt to say that. Insect repellent and sun cream. And I've been carrying these in my ed, my EDC Woods pouch, and yeah, it's working amazingly well. I didn't realise how I was going to make some of these up, as you all know. But I had an email off somebody, and they said they wouldn't send them, so they sent them. And I said, yeah, okay, that's fine, as long as, as, long as we can discuss what, and as long as we can discuss how we're going to go about doing it, and how we're going to thing, and that's what we've done. I'm, I'm helping out on some pieces, I'm helping out on the bottom on some pieces, so I don't mind. So yeah, um, but as I was saying, these are amazing to carry. I didn't realise how much, how bulky, say, a pot of insect repellent is, just for a day hike. I carry one, I think I carry three of each in my EDC woods pouch, and it's just come very handy. All of a sudden, like now, like we're inside at the moment because it's hot outside. I think it's like 27, 28 degrees uh, Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I do apologise. I'll try and leave that at the bottom of the screen as well. But yeah, it's a bit too hot at the moment for Dopey Dog because we, as you know, we can't go a lot of places. We can't go that far, but we have been going on walks. I'm planning to do a day hike on Friday. And I'm thinking about bringing you guys along. That's if you want to come. If not, you don't have to watch that video. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to do that video on for I'm going to do that for video for Saturday or Sunday next week. More likely be Saturday, or no, more likely be Sunday actually. But it's time to do all the editing and everything like that. It's going to be a long, not long video, but it's going to be like quite a hard video to make. So yeah, but going back to these. I've been using these for a couple of weeks now, and um, yeah, I know these are hard to find in the UK. I don't know what it is like in America, I don't know what it's like in Canada, but I know in the UK these are quite hard to find. And I know she spent quite a bit of money on import tax because Pitt said it, and I'm sorry, I, I'm grateful for it, but if I knew that it was going to cost this much, I would have said no straight away, but never mind. They're here now and I've been using them and um so yeah they are handy and I have got mountains that's all of them together I have no idea how many of each one I've got but there's loads I mean if I just grab one thing out I can grab a handful straight away of the Insect pan, uh, pads, a uh, wave pads. And there's three in each one. And there's still loads in here. Like that's just the insect pads. And I still think there's some in here as well. Insect, re re insect relief pads. Or sting relief pads, I should say. That's what they're called. Ah, uh, but. Yeah, I just, I mean, these, this, this stuff, I'm grateful. So, yeah, if anybody else can kind of, I don't know, recommend any of these to anybody, please do. If you know where you can find them, please let them know. Please let people know, because I don't know. I've looked everywhere, and I just don't know where they come from. I don't know where you get them, so I'm not even going to try. I'm going to carry on looking, but... I don't think I can find them at the moment. 
I've looked everywhere. I've looked on Amazon. I've looked on eBay. I've looked on everything, all the sites for the UK, and nothing. So yeah, um, I'm babbling. I know I am. So I'm gonna leave it here. So thank you to the person who got these. Highly appreciate it. I'm hoping the advice and that piece of kit I've sent to you turn to you come to you quite nicely and safe. I know you said something came, but you don't know what it was because you were out working, so yeah. So yeah, these ah oh, I just I'm amazed, these are amazing. Like hang on guys, give me a second. Amazing. I've got them in the lock sack. This is not the pouch I actually carry in my woods EDC pouch. This is another one I've put together what I'm gonna put in with my first aid kit for Dartmoor. Or for when I'm on or for my rucksack. Yeah, um, I recommend these lock sacks as well. Very good. I've got so many, I've got more now, <laughs> quite a few more actually. <laughs> I've got another two of these this size come for the post today. I've got the six by nines come for the post, so yeah, and so I've got six of these size, and two of the two, and two other six by nine ones. So yeah, these are good. Even these pouches of this, these pouches are amazing to stuff, guys. I mean, how small is that just for sun cream? Yeah, just to do your face and your neck. I know it's only 3.5 grams, but that's perfectly amount. You don't need mountains, and then you're not wasted. So yeah, but the only problem, the only thing, there is one thing I don't like about them. That's wastage, and that's just having that and that's it and then it's wasted you have to throw that thing away but then i thought about it it's probably going to be better than having a bottle where it could just split and leak in my rucksack like what was done in the past so yeah right i'm leaving you now guys thank you very much for watching let me see you soon bye, -bye.